Okay, so I'm going to show you now how to create a simple Pascal's triangle on Excel. It's going to be a short version of this. Okay, so what we need to do first is you need to add the one here and a one and a one here. And my version is going to be a right angle triangle, uh, Pascal's triangle version. Mainly people see the equilateral version, but it's the same thing. But the left column is smashed up against the wall. It's, it's really the same. Okay, so now I want a column of ones. And it's best to equal a2 here, enter, and just drag this down here. Um, children will like prefer to drag ones down, but it's best to um, do the technique of dragging down. Okay, so now we need to do this column the cell here, equals a2, which is the one above it, diagonal above, sorry, and b2, which is the one above it, enter. Drag it right across there, and right down. And you can see here that we have the first eight rows of Pascal's triangle. It's good to see the children see if they can spot any relationships or interesting patterns okay give the children a chance to play around okay so i'm going to just going to show you quickly one um, yeah one example of how we can see the techniques okay so click on the auto sum or the sticker button it's a2 to j2 which is good we can see that and it equals a two we can drag that down and we can see that all of the sums of the lines of pascal's triangle are powers of 2 really aren't they? 2, 4, 8, 16 for example, okay? Um, what happens if I change this to a 2 here? We can see now that they, these ones here, minus the 2 here, are all doubling aren't they? So it's just a fun to see that children can spot the relationships and spot the patterns within Windows within Microsoft Excel. Um, but it is mainly for Key Stage 2. I want to give this to Key Stage 1 because it's a little difficult with the formulas and with the just the general cells and the layout of the Excel. Okay, thank you very much for watching.